Mr. Robbie Ray coming to us from Seattle and the Cy Young winner from last year. What is that nonsense with him uh, uh, being ca Lauren calling you out on national TV for your pants? Yeah, that's messed up. That's messed up. Yeah, the, the, the pants thing is kind of funny because, uh, you know, it's kind of the same size that I've always worn. I've just be gotten a, just a bigger guy now. <laughs> now, 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 Let, let's get something straight. You're in great shape. You're a badass. What's your workout routine? Let's just call it December 1 until spring training. Yeah, so I work out uh, twice a day every day, uh, upper body, uh, lower body. I just kind of rotate days uh, back to back. And, you know, in the mornings I do uh, like a heavier lift, and in the afternoons I do uh, an explosive lift. So I, I kind of do the same muscle group during the day, but make sure that I get the right amount of rest. Uh, but I'm, you know, learning to move the weight, but also moving it explosively. Hey, hey Robbie, I yeah. mean, have you given any thought to the idea of maybe working out by fighting wildlife? Um, up in up in Seattle, you have uh, you have different uh, different types of wildlife than you did say in Toronto or in Phoenix, correct? Yeah, so you know we have uh, a lot of wildlife where we're at, a lot of uh, bears, a lot of a lot of deer. Uh, so it definitely makes you faster, especially with the kids out in the yard. You see a bear coming, and you have to to pick them all up and run them into the house. So <laughs> definitely working on the cardio there. <laughs> oh, that's good. Car cardio. It's a cardio and strength. It's a combination <laughs> with the kids. Excellent. Yeah. Very, very well done. <laughs> well done. No doubt. Uh, I do have a little birdie that lives next door to me that you played with, Clay Buckles. Wants to know if you're still doing your national anthem pregame skit. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've tried it on multiple teams, and uh, you know, this team they don't they don't seem too uh, too fond of it. So I, I kind of exit. Hey, um, you know, uh, we make a big deal. We make a big deal about 20 years. Since the postseason, you get to Seattle, you're like, what's the big deal? We're going to, we may be there this year. But uh, give me, give me the vibe. W what's it like there now? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I mean, we come out every day and, and just trying to focus on one day at a time and, and one win at a time. Uh, not really worrying about what happened the night before or what's going to happen tomorrow. We're just kind of focused in the moment. Uh, we're just having a lot of fun in the clubhouse, on the field, and everybody's just kind of playing for each other. So it's, re it's really a, a lot of fun. Coolest thing about playing in Safeco, in your opinion, is what? Uh, I, you know, honestly, it's just one of the, it's one of my favorite stadiums. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just really cool. The, like the, the atmosphere, uh, the way that the, the city is. I, I just like the whole city, you know, in general, everything about it. Hey, um, I got a question for you about some of the young guys. Uh, we showed a graphic a second ago how old certain people were on your team the last time the Mariners went to the postseason. But tell me about the young guys. Um, J-Rod in particular, he gets all the pub. What's it like to now be an older guy? You're not old, but an older. And you look and you say. Veteran. And you, okay, veteran. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. That's, by the way, by the way, that's the only time Kevin has helped anybody find a word that they were looking for. That's a, that's a better word for it. I'm not an old guy. I'm, no, I'm, a, old guy. I'm a veteran player, so. What's it like? What's uh, it like? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a different role for me. It's something that in the past, uh, you know, I, I haven't really. Uh, been able to step into that role because there's always been older guys, veteran guys ahead of me. Uh, but it's something that I embrace, and you know I'm trying to help the the young guys understand that it, you know the the season's 162 games. You gotta you gotta grind it out. You gotta you gotta stick with the process, and and it's been really fun to watch, especially uh, you know George Kirby and seeing what he's been able to do. I mean the kid's electric. Uh, his stuff is so good, and, and he's he's got poise on the mound, and it's you know really fun to watch him go out there every five days and, and compete. So I, I love the big contract talks. I love all that stuff. I love when you guys get rich. I love everything about it. Now tell me the first thing that you bought though, after you signed the deal. They're like, yeah, I need it. Uh, you know, I really haven't. Uh, 
made a big purchase, I don't think. I, you know, I purchased some land. Uh, that was probably the biggest thing that I made a purchase of. And um, But as far as like toys or cars or anything, I'm not super into those. I got uh, I got my truck that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. So, yes. uh, you know, I just kind of, uh, I haven't really bought anything uh, from the big contract yet. Yeah, see, Kevin, not everybody is materialistic like yourself. He bought land. He bought and land. A truck. He bought that's land. That's all I needed to say. That's it. That, that's, that's it. And that's what I love. That's it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I had heard, and I believe it's true, that in Seattle they sell at the ballpark. Um, is it crickets or grasshoppers or whatever it is? Have you have you yeah, tried? They do. Have you tried that yet? I have not, and I don't plan on trying it. <laughs> Is it, yeah, that's not a, uh, that's not something that's usually in my uh, in my diet. I don't really uh, wake up every morning thinking that. Yeah. I, oh man, I really wish I had a pile of crickets. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you could but you could transport them on your land in your truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's something now. We'll get other stuff in the back of that truck to eat that tastes a lot better than crickets. All right, Rob, we got a few rapid Definitely. fire questions and we'll let you go. You ready? Yep. And, and when you get old, because I'm not a veteran anymore, you put your readers on. Number one, what's tighter, Marco Gonzalez's wallet or your pants? Which is in a good Oof. way. Uh, <laughs> probably, uh, probably his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, more Seattle groupies, J Rod or Eddie Vedder in the early 90s? Ooh. Uh, you know, J Rod's got his, uh, his uh, guys out in the outfield, the, the J Rod show. And there's a, I mean, they packed that place out, the no fly zone. So I'm going to have to say the J Rod show has, has more groupies for sure. So good. And last one, the one thing that you least miss about Canada. Least miss. Uh, oof. I don't know. Everything about Canada was really cool. So it was just something different. So I don't know if I, I, I can't really think of anything that I least miss about it. Uh, yeah. I yeah, know, I mean, every, everybody up there. And the drinks. Oh, maybe that's, that's what, what it is. I don't, I, maybe, uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> I can't really you think of like anything that cubes. I least miss about it. Oh, uh, yeah, that would drive me yeah. nuts too. Hey, hey, you know, Robbie, <laughs> I, I got to tell you, man, you are. You took your Cy Young to Seattle, and um, no accident that you guys are knocking on the door to October baseball, no and and we appreciate it and love watching you with your double digit K per nine guy. And we appreciate we appreciate the time. Stay healthy, okay? Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.